Hi and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a video request on Microsoft Word 2016 APA format. So I've already created a video on this one and I created it if you're working on a document that's brand new. In this case I'm going to do it as if you're working on a document that's already been written. So if you're just starting out go to my other APA video. If not stay tuned in. This is a video request from S Suzanne. Suzanne says thanks this was really helpful. Any chance you could go through the process of how to complete all of the formatting when the paper is already written. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now, and I'm going to start with a blank word or with a word document that's already been written on. All right, so right here we see our document. The first thing that I want to do whenever I'm doing any formatting changes in Word is turn on my paragraph markers. I could do that in the home tab, paragraph group, and it's this icon right here. Show hide paragraph markers. I'm going to turn those on. All right, so now I'm going to set up my font and paragraph settings. So the first thing I want to do is do a control A by holding down control and A on the keyboard to select all of my text. Once I do that, I'm going to go to the home tab and in the font group, I'm going to change my font to Times New Roman. Okay, so you just adjust your font to Times New Roman and then change it from size 11 to 12. Okay, so that should be your font and your font size for an APA document. Next, I'm going to go to my paragraph settings. My paragraph settings dialog box launcher is in the bottom right of that group. I click that and then I'm going to adjust my paragraph settings. I'm going to first go down here to the indentation group and I'm going to choose first line under the special options and it will give me that first line indentation of half an inch that I'll need for all of the body text that I'm writing. Then I'm going to go to the spacing after and click the down arrow twice to change the spacing after to zero point. The line spacing should be changed from multiple to double. And now we have our double spacing with our first line indent with no spacing before or after. Then you click OK. All right, and so already this document's beginning to look more and more like an APA style document. Now what we want to do is we want to adjust and create a cover page or a front page, right? And so if I already have my text written out, I need to insert a new page. So I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to go to the pages group and I'm either going to click page break or blank page. Either one is fine. I chose blank page and it moved me up to right here. All right, and so now I have this blank first page. Now this first page here should be where everything is going to be in terms of your title and things like that. So the first thing I want to do is edit my header. All right, so up here in my header is this top maybe inch of your page. I'm going to double click up here and you'll notice it'll open up the header and footer tools design tab. All right, so right here is where we're going to put in our header. Now, first thing I want you to notice is that if you go to the Home tab, it changed it back to Calibri size 11. So earlier when we did select all, it did not affect the header and footer. So I'm going to do a Control A to make sure I have all of my header and footer selected. And then I'm going to go to Times New Roman, change it to size 12, and now we're ready to go. So now I'm going to go to the header and footer design tab. All right. Now the first page is different from the other pages on your header uh, for an APA document. So go down here to the options group and choose different first page. All right. When you choose different first page, you'll notice that this right here will say first page header. And if you scroll down, it'll just say header on page two. All right. So now we're ready to go for editing our header on the first page. All right. Again, we changed. Uh, you have to make sure to make sure to change the heading to Times New Roman in size 12. And once you do that, we're ready to go. All right, so down here, we, uh, we're looking at our header right here. And so I'm gonna type in running head with a colon after it. Okay, that's what you type on uh, an APA document. And then in all caps, you will put the document title right here. All right, so you'll put in all caps the document title. All right, so whatever the name of your document is, you'll put it right there. Then you're going to press tab about two times, depending on the length of your title, and it will take you to the right side of your header for that first page. Now I'm going to insert a page number. So in the header and footer tools design tab, go to the header and footer group and choose page number, and then go to current position and choose plain number one. So you choose that right there. Now we see that is all set up. 
So now I'm going to scroll down to my header on page 2. All right, your header on page 2, it should already have the Times New Roman in size 12 set up on it. And so the page 2 header is going to be basically your document title right here. Okay, this could be a shortened for version of your document title if you prefer. And then you'll press tab a few times, in my case two times, and then go back to that header and footer tools design tab. Go to the header and footer group and choose page number, current position, plane number one. And you'll notice that you'll see a two will appear here and it should allow the rest of the pages in your document to appear as normal. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to close the header and footer. That's right here in the header and footer design tools tab in the close group. Click close header and footer and scroll back up to the top of your document. All right, now the top of your document is very important because that's where we're going to enter in the title. So I usually do about three or four enters and then I go to the center by doing either control E or home tab paragraph group center. All right, right here will be in regular capitalization, your document title, all right, oops, title. And then you will put your name and then you'll put your affiliation. So this could be your school or your class affiliation. Let's make sure I spell that right. There we go. And your affiliation. So that could be your name of your school, your class, or anything like that. The rest of this page can all be left blank. All right. So that's our document title, name, and affiliation. Our first page is now done. Now let's scroll down to page two. All right. Page two will usually have an abstract section. So what I like to do is I press enter and then I will go to the center of that page and I will do abstract. You just type in abstract and then usually the first paragraph, it's not very long, is your abstract. All right, once you finish typing your abstract, you insert a page break. So go to the insert tab, pages group, page break, and that'll take you down to page three, okay? So page three is right here. Okay, we see page two is abstract, page three is right here. This is going to be where you're going to actually set up your document title again. All right, so you press enter and then you go back to centering it and you have your document title. And then you can put your section name right here. Okay, now you should be already have all of the formatting from our earlier uh, work already done here. So everything should just kind of flow along. You'll put in your sections the same way that you did uh, just above. All right. And so then as you scroll down, you'll see you'll have all of your things right through here, all of your writing, and then you'll get to the end, right? And you get to the end of your APA document, you'll probably insert a page break. And then right here is where you're going to insert in your citation and bibliography. That'll be in your manage sources area. And you could just insert in your work cited page. That's under references tab, citations and bibliography. And you'll go and you'll have to make sure that the style is APA, right? And you'll go work cited and then you'll have your sources right here. Now keep in mind, this part needs to be APA as well. So you'll go in there, you'll do a control A, and then you'll do Times New Roman, size 12. The default font doesn't look right there. It looks uh, like uh, it's currently set to, for the works cited set as heading one, you could change that to just normal and then center it. Again, that should be size 12 as well, Times New Roman. So once you get all of that done, you'll make sure that you double space everything, right? So home tab, line and spacing group, double space. You'll double space your works cited section. And right there, we have our good looking APA document. So last tip I wanna give you is usually you send these out in Microsoft uh, not in Microsoft Word, you'll usually send them out in uh, a PDF. So if you do wanna send your APA document out in a PDF, you'll go to the File tab right there in the top left. Okay, oops, there we go. And you'll go to Export, and then you'll choose Create PDF right there. And then you'll be able to send it out as a PDF. So that's how you uh, basically set up your 
APA document after you have it written. So I hope that helps you out. And if it did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you need more training on inserting footnotes or citations and bibliography or other APA style documents, I have those on my page. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have a video request, put it in the comment section below and I will make that video for you. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.